Honorable members of the council, we are gathered here to perform a ritual that has not been performed in more than a thousand years. The dark times, spoken of in the prophecy of Reuben Ferrol, are upon us. Our only hope lies with this marked one who has labored so hard to bring us together. Janus, the son of the old duke, has found an ancient artifact called the Sword of Lies. In this weapon lurks a tiny portion of the soul of the enemy of us all, the Lord of Chaos. That foul fragment of spirit has, I am sure, possessed and consumed the poor, weak soul of Duke Janus. The Black Ring have waited long centuries to win such a formidable ally. Even now they gather around Janus like flies around rotting meat. Thus, they protect their main hope of victory. By creating war, discord, and chaos, the Black Ring feed the demon spirit in Janus's unholy sword. Soon the spirit of chaos and the sword of lies will be strong enough to open a gateway to hell. Then the sundered soul of the Lord of Chaos will be rejoined here in Riverlawn. If that happens, none can guess the outcome. At best, we will all be conquered and enslaved by the minions of hell. At worst, the whole world may be returned to primal chaos, the endless starless night that was here before the coming of the gods. I ask of this council that we now send the Marked One forth into the land of the dead, as is required by the divine ritual of summoning. We can only hope the Marked One will be found worthy and will return to us as the Divine One. Does every council member agree with this? Yes, Sandalor. It must be done if we are to heal the world. The surgeon must never flinch from extreme measures if the patient's life is at stake. I agree for humankind. I salute your bravery, O oh Market One. I agree in the name of the lizard folk. Flix, flux, flux! This looks like it'll be fun! <laughs> Zax, I agree in the name of all imps! The elven race has looked into the Marked One's soul and found a warrior with a heart of peace. Such a one must speak for all of us. For the elves, I give full agreement. Ha! <laughs> After the services the Marked One has done the dwarves. We'd forswear ale if this one asked it of us. By Duna and for the dwarves, I agree. Croxy and all orcs of good taste and honor stand for this Marked One. For the orcs, I agrees. Then, so be it. As representative of all magical beings who stand against hell, I too have found the Marked One full worthy. I give my agreement and seal the resolution. Honorable members of the council, it is time for us to begin the ritual. By the power of this ancient gathering place, by will of the good gods, and by trust of all living things, we call upon you, O oh Marked One, to face the ordeal and defeat the evil that rots at the heart of our world. <laughs> Go now, Marked One. Go fulfill your destiny. The fate of the world is in your hands. It is done. Bloody hell, I hope it works. Flux, flux, flux! I knew it would be fun! <laughs> I admit it did give me a certain religious feeling. Damned if Croxy understand! Look to me like we kill Marked One, not Bless. But I not expert on religion. The killing was the blessing, you green oaf. The Marked One's mortal form had to be destroyed. 
so that the Divine One can rise from the ashes. Ah, understood. In religion, blessing and killing the same thing. All these years Croxy think he is warrior, turns out he is priest. <laughs> so when do we perform the rituals to summon the Divine One? I'm a healer, not a priest. I don't like killing under any circumstances. I'm anxious to see our friend made whole again. We will know when the time comes. For now, we must wait. If you gentlemen are hungry, I think I remember a spell that can create us some food. Anyone got a deck of cards? Ha! <laughs> a feast! What a splendid idea! I've long looked forward to eating your living flesh! Janus! But... This is holy ground! You cannot enter this place! And yet, it seems I'm doing just that, you old fool! What did you think? That you could perform your stupid ritual without me being aware of it? Ha! Away, demon! Friends, to me! Don't waste your feeble strength, Zandalor. Your spells are useless against me. I've grown sleek and strong feeding on the misery in the world of late. I'll show you how strong in a moment, but first, allow me to introduce some friends. Detect a hint of paleness in your face, Sandalor? It is a little chilly in here, isn't it? Fear not, old man. Things are about to heat up significantly. You see, I think it is time for me to change my skin. <laughs> oh, oh, much better. And now, I believe it is time to have our killing ritual. Observe, Sandalor. It'll be quite a show. My minions destroy these vermin, but save the old Greybeard. Till last. I wanted to see and hear every last moment. <laughs> No tears or lamentations for your dying colleague, Sandalor! What's the matter? Weren't we savage enough? Oh, I'm disappointed! <laughs> I swear by all that is holy you will die in torment for this demon! But not by your hand, old man! Now, let's discuss our differences a little more intimately.
was nice. I tell you, Drax, I saw a dragon. There ain't no dragons round here, guys. I saw. I'm sure you saw something, but I'm also sure it wasn't a dragon. <laughs> you not know. You were running from imps. I stay killing imps. <laughs> now, since when does a brave orc shaman run from mere imps, huh? I was simply covering your back. Oh, brave orc shaman, smell of peace after fight. <laughs> uh, you insolent dog! I should... Ah! <laughs> what was that? Guards, protect me! can come back now. Mm -hmm. He's not Dragon. <laughs> Good. Um, this area is secure too. He's only big rock up there. Yes. Uh, yes, of course it is. I see you've never heard of rock demons, have you? Very dangerous creatures. You have to be on your guard. Mm. All Garth know is your smell of piss again. 